What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Series 12 team that features Kai Ogre and Zacian. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, get on top of that. Scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Over 50% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if that's one of you, really consider subscribing. It goes a long way. Shout out to everybody who is a subscriber to the channel. But I know what you guys are thinking. Jeans, how are you using a Series 12 team? Series 12 isn't even out yet. Well, I'm going to be rocking out on the casual ladder today with this team, considering I want to bring you guys a Series 12 team before it even releases, just so you guys are ready to rock out in the brand new series. So we're rocking out with Kyrie, we're rocking out with Zassian, two of the best restricted mods in the whole game. But let's get started here with that team preview. In that top left corner, we have the only, the one and only Ferrothorn over here. Great grass shield type, very, very bulky, especially with that assault vest as his item. Also has Iron Barbs as his ability, and then knockoff, power whip, gyro ball, and body press for a phenomenal moveset. Right next to him is going to be Kai Ogre. Yo, this team is going to be insane. Imagine just having Kai Ogre and Zacian on the field. It just sounds broken, doesn't it? It really does. But this thing has Drizzle to set the rain, wave insets to boost its water damage, and then it's got Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Ice Beam for coverage, and Protect for its fourth and final move. Middle left is going to be a lovely support mod, and that is going to be Thunderous over here. It's got the Prankster ability, alongside with the Citrus Berry to give it more HP when it falls below half. It's got Thunderbolt for stab, Rain Dance to set up the rain and take weather control, Eerie Impulse for special attack drop, and Thunder Wave for paralyzes and speed control. Middle right is going to be Urshifu, one of the best backhand Pokemons in the whole game. Super, super strong, hits through Protect due to its unseen fist ability, cannot be one tap due to the Focus Sash as their item, and then an amazing moveset of Wicked Blow, Close Combat, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and Detect to work as a Protect. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Swift Swim Kingdra. Pairs perfectly with this uh, Kyogre, so getting out both these Pokemon, it's a deadly combo. It really is a deadly combo. We got the Life Orb on this Pokemon, really good in Dynamax form, and then we got Draco Meteor for stab, Muddy Water for stab, Hurricane for coverage, and 100% of the time it's hitting in the rain. And last but not least, we got to give this Pokemon protect. Final Pokemon on the squad is another insanely strong restricted mod. We already said Kyogre, now we have Zacian in this bottom right hand corner with Interpret Sword and Rusted Sword, obviously for its item and ability to give it an attack boost every time it steps into the battlefield. Iron Head, Substitute, Protect, and Play Rough for the moveset. Cannot wait to bring out both these Pokemon onto the field. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, we got that rental code right at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that casual ladder and look to show off our first ever Series 12 team. We're searching for our first opponent for today's video. Hopefully, we're going up against a team that is also rocking a Series 12 team. I really do hope so, because that could be pretty cool. We can get some Series 12 content out there, because the rule set, I don't think it's any different for casual battles. Casual battles, there's still Dynamax. You can just bring as many restricted mods and as many Pokemons as you can. So, I'm pretty down with it. Hopefully, we get to find a team. And, oh, yo, we did. Let's go. Let's go. We're going up against a Zacian and Kai Ogre team here with Incineroar, Whimscott, Rillaboom, and Thunder. So it seems like a lot of players are trying to test out their Series 12 teams. Hopefully we get us some wins and hopefully we get the rock out with the squad. But let's get rolling here. Who should we pick? How should we go into this? And yo, look at the names on these Pokemon. Ogre. <laughs> Thunky. <laughs> got some good names. Got some good names. But uh, I think he's going to lead the Whimscott. I really don't mind that. I really do not mind if he leads the Whimscott. I might go in with Prankster... Thunderous just to get some speed control and paralyzes and go here and with Zacian and then bring Kai Ogre and Kingdra in the back would be really, really good. Probably our Dynamax Pokemon. So if Swim, we can outspeed a lot. We kind of just get rocking out from there. He's probably going to bring Roboom, so I really have to watch out for that. But if we have speed, we have Max Airstream on our uh, on our Kingdra. And we also have Ice Beam on Kai Ogre. But again, got to watch out for that uh, Grassy God. But I'm going to lock in the squad. We're going to look for a win with our Series 12 team. But it's super cool to see this guy actually having a Series 12 team. I was thinking maybe we were going to go up against some Series 11 teams. Maybe go up against some like random restricted mods or like not even restricted mods. Like Pokemon that are just not even allowed to be played in this game. Like uh, Zorora or like what other Pokemon are there? I can't even think of them. But you guys don't want to talk about it. You guys don't want to talk about it. But let's see who this guy rocks in with. I think he's going to probably lead the Wimscott. That's why I really want to lead the Zacian alongside with the... Uh, Thunderous, I can get speed control, I can do some big damage all around. We kind of just get rolling from there. But if I had to guess this team, it's definitely Whimscott. It's definitely Rillaboom. And then I'm guessing Kyogre and Zassin. Like, you cannot just not bring your restricted mods. They're too good. They are just too good. They're too good not to bring. It's like in Series 11. Like, every time you played with your team, you always brought your restricted mod. You always brought that Pokemon. It was just way too strong. But this guy ends up leading the Rillaboom. He ends up leading, the, okay, the Thunder. So no Whimscott's going to come out here. And I think I'm just going to paralyze the Rillaboom and kind of get after his battle, right? Probably my play. 
probably my play. So when Temperate Sword comes out here, yo, we boost it on that attack. Zacian coming out here. Imagine taking out Zacian and then me just throwing out Kyogre and then having to deal with that. You're, you're just like, yo, come on. I feel like they, these two restrictive bonds are going to be super, super strong. But from here, I'm just going to, you know, drop a nice little Thunder Wave onto you. Paralyze you up and just go into a Behemoth Blade. Or I could set up a sub. I could set up a sub, which I'm going to do. I am indeed going to set up a sub. Just in case he wants to protect, maybe swap out some along his lines. He's going to Dynamax. This dude's going to Dynamax right here. He's going to Dynamax turn one. Probably that Thunderous. So, okay. Probably going for an Airstream. He's probably going to take speed. Mm, that's a little tough. That's a little tough here. But I'm going to throw this Paralyzed over all time Boom. Get a little bit of control. And I'm guessing this thing is physical attacking, right? Most Thunderouses are. So I was going to Eerie Impulse, but it's just like, you really can't. He'll fake me out. That's totally fine. No subs are going to be able to set up. And Paralyzed is going to come out on the field. Okay, so we're not setting up a sub. Actually, we do outspeed we could. It really depends who he goes after. But I do think he's going to go for an Airstream and try to take speed control here. So we flinch. He's going to go for it. Yep, there's the Airstream into... Zassian, Zassian's able to soak up all day, but more importantly, this guy gets speed control. He gets some speed control, so I can protect. I honestly could protect. Maybe just go for a Thunderbolt. It'll be my play, because I'm just going to try to waste out these Dynamax turns. I really am. I really am. Thunderbolt. Yeah, let's go into a Thunderbolt here, and you know what? I'm just, just protecting, man. Let's waste out these turns. If he wants to go into another Airstream, if he wants to go into Zassian, that's fine by me. That is fine by me. Here comes a big old block. Yo, dude, I'm liking this. I'm liking this so far. Series 12 is looking a little bit of fun. It's definitely a change of pace. It's definitely a change of way. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun to uh, use and kind of get used to the new format. So he goes into a max knuckle. We soak that up all day long. All day long. And this match is looking really good for us considering we have two very good back in Pokemon. We're wasting out terrain turns. We're wasting out his Dynamax turn. I think we should be thriving here. Thunderbolts can come out here. Decent amount of damage. And yo, real boom is paralyzed. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. So from here, I'm just going to go for a Behemoth Blade, try to get off as much damage, and I don't know what I'm going to do from here. I'm just Thunderbolt into you? Man, I want to keep you out. You haven't been touched. You have not been touched. Now, the real question is, will Behemoth Blade do as much damage? It's double damage, but it's half. So I think this might be a little bit better, and we can get an attack drop on it, so. See, Max Lightning's going to fly through here over in the Thunderous. You could probably eat that up, right? Dude, I love you. Pop that Citrus Berry, baby. Pop that Citrus Berry. We are rolling here about number one. So, yo, Dynamax turns are over. No more Grassy Terrain because he just changed it. I'm with it all day, yo. I'm with it all day. He does have speed on us due to that Max Airstream, but we should still be able to get off a nice little chunk of damage here. Player Off's going to poke. Lovely. Give me an attack drop. Give me an attack drop. No attack drop, but Thunderbolt's going to fly here and a huge amount of damage coming out from Rosassian. Bink, bulk that guy up, hit a little bit of damage onto him, and we're fine here. He's going to go for that Wood Hammer and just... Run his ass, you know. We eat. We eat all day. I could set up a sub, but I just think letting both these Pokemon go down is really the play. I think that's our play. I'm, <laughs> dude, this is probably our play. So I can get out my other Pokemon, we could just be thriving and pretty much win this battle, right? Hmm. Play Thunderbolt. I'll Thunderbolt try to KO this thing. I'm probably going to double down into that thing. I'm probably just going to end up doubling down because I don't see him protecting. Actually, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. He might pick up the KO. He might pick up the double KO here. But it is what it is at that point. Because then we, we just Dynamax or Kingdra. And we just get Rocket out from there. Wild Charge is going to fly here. We drop down. And Zacian might outspeed that Rolling. Zacian might outspeed that Rolling. Recoil damage is going to come through here. Zacian outspeeds. Big old damage. KO maybe? Let's go. Get out of here, Rolling. Yo, we're thriving here. We are in the driver's seat. We are in the driver's seat. Okay, so from here, I'm going to bring out you. And I think I just protect, right? Yeah. Try to get that wild charge to come over here because I do not really want to do anything with Kyogre till that uh till that Kingdra's out on field. And especially because we know that the what's called outspeeds. The Thunderous outspeeds. So he's probably just gonna try to tackle into a wild charge here. And then in this case, I'm just gonna protect it. I'm just gonna go straight into a uh straight into another play rough to take that thing out. 100 percent my play. Protect you, and then you know, do this. I could blade. I could blade. But again, I do think that the Whimsicott is probably focus ash. So I'd rather just take out this Thunderous that's outspeeding everything. So we protect our Kyogre. Yo, look at this. We got out the boys. Zacian and... Zacian and Kyogre out on the field at the same time. That's so intimidating. Wild Charge comes through. We block. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And did he not bring any of his Restricted Mons? Yo, we miss. How do we miss? How do we miss? How do we miss? How do we miss? 
Okay, you know what? I don't know. We go for the double protect here. I'm going for the double protect. It's probably our best bet. Are you how do we miss? How do we miss? How do we miss? Land is double protect Kyrie. Give me a little bit of luck here. Am I not going for protect? Oh, helping hand probably comes out here first. Protect connect. Oh my god, we just lost Kyogre. Are you kidding me? Can we still win this battle? We still have our Dynamax. If we can land this, we're going to win this battle. If we can land this play rough, but my Kyogre should still be alive here. He's going to go down and recoil. Okay, play rough's going to slide over. I'm with that all day. I'm totally with that. Man, imagine if we used our, our other move. Behemoth Blade. That's still just KO'd it. Okay, that's beautiful. We get a crit. We get a crit. Okay, we win the battle. The game gives us a crit for us missing our play rough. So thank you, Poke Gods. Thank you, Poke Gods. We can bring out King Joe. We still have our Dynamax. I'm going to send it here, but I do think this guy cancels the battle. Let's see who he has at least. It's asking, yo. We Dynamax and we get an after this Pokemon. We are getting after this Pokemon. Uh, I can just start dropping geysers on this thing. Rip it through it. We got this shiny purple Kingdra. But my whole plan was like to protect the Kyogre and then take out Thunderous and then just have Kyogre out there ready to roll. We would have been sitting pretty. We would have been like guaranteed win here. But we're going to Dynamax here. We're going to go into Geyser. This is probably going to one tap it. I had to guess, but we got Behemoth Blade backing up here. We got speed. We're totally fine. I think it's going to be speed time, but speed tied between the Zacian, so it's totally fine but if this guy just cancels the battle we don't even have to dynamax battle number one let's go you love to see it another series 12 team in the casual ladder i'm loving it so much this guy has a pretty cool team he's got blastoise regilecki kiram black right that's kiram black right i believe so i believe so then he has reggie draco one of my favorite starters of all time he has septile and then zassian so double restricted mods series 12 teams going at it but yo if you guys want to catch more content from me head to my twitch page genes 25 name is right below the face cam and there's a link down in the description below legends arceus is just about here so if you guys want to catch legends arceus content we're going to be 100 percenting it over on my twitch page alongside with having content over here on the youtube channel i'm planning on doing a playthrough bringing you guides all that good stuff so make sure you head over to that twitch page and check out all the content on the youtube channel for legends arceus because i'm super excited for that game i really am but how should we go into this one how should we play i feel like just leading the kyogre squad could really rip through these guys I'm with it all day. Let's lead both of these. He does have the Regilecki, who could definitely get a lead. Could definitely get a lead here. Do we think he's going to lead that? I think he's going to lead that. I definitely want to bring Zassian to back in. Like, dude, I cannot not bring Kyogre and Zassian. It's just too good. It is really just too good. And then last but not least, I'm thinking back in Urshfu can really work wonders. So let's lock it in. Let's lock down the squad. Hopefully he's not leading Regilecki. But if he is, I really don't see the problem. I'm thinking about just like, you know, protecting my Kyogre and just going into like an airstream and doing some big damage on the Regilecki because, you know, it could be Sash. It could definitely be Sash. But we'll see. We'll see. We're just, we're just going to hope he doesn't lead it, but I think he definitely is, right? Let's see his play. He's going to send out. Okay, awesome. Yo, double starter. We love it. We love it. Double starter. Blastoids and Sceptile. Um, I'm thriving with this one. I am thriving with this one. So from here, I'm just going to go into an airstream and I think I'm just going to water spout at the same time. That might play. Take speed. Could definitely take speed. Could definitely take speed. Could go into ice beam, but I'm thinking just a water spout to play. Because I think a water spout combined with this airstream can definitely do enough damage to take out the septile. And then we're just gonna try to get off some damage onto that uh onto that lovely little blastoids. Okay, I'm with it. I'm with it all day. But yo, cool lead, yo. Look at them both shiny. They just look phenomenal. They just look phenomenal. I miss Mega Sceptile. Such a cool Pokemon. I think it turns Dragon type, doesn't it? And it's just, its design is just so cool. But we're Dynamaxing here. We're getting out our Kingdra here. Swift Swim Kingdra. Rock it out here. Now, this team might be the strongest team I've ever used. I'm not even kidding with you. Like, just thinking about it, yo, we have Kyogre and Kingdra, which is already strong enough on its own. And then having Urshfu and Zacian in the back end. With a Prankster Thunderous? What more could you want? What more could you want? He does not Dynamax. He has Fake Out Raider Roll. This guy's ready. He's rocking with Fake Out. Okay, so that's a pretty good turn by him. We don't need airstream. Can this KO? I'm kind of hoping it does. Big Sash. Yo. We're losing our Kyogre here. We're going to lose our Kyogre. Blastoise is rocking Fake Out. Last thing I was expecting. Focus Sash going to come out here. We got a speed boost. Can we eat up? It's grass move. I don't think we can. But it's definitely looking scary. Maybe he'll miss. Maybe he'll miss. Leave some. No, we, we dead. We dead. We dead all day. We are dead all day. He just dumps on us there. His special attack is down the dumpster. Okay, we bring out Zacian here. We could indeed bring out Zacian. Or, or I can bring out Urshu. I'm bringing out Zacian. Let's rock out with this dude.
Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So I could set up a sub. We do have speed all day. Um, I could protect. What do I want to do here? Hmm. What is the genes player? What is the genes player? Good behemoth blade. I think player off is going to be your play. Let's player off, drop you, and then just go into a... Another airstream? Yeah, I have to take out this septile. I mean, I'm actually not too worried about the septile. You know what? I'm going to double down into you. I'm going to double down into this blast. Just in case it wants to Dynamax here, we're going to double down into it. If I can take it out here, that could be a huge play. And I think it might Dynamax. Yep, there's Dynamax. So good call by us to just double down into this Pokemon. Getting after this dude. Sceptile, I'm not really worried about. It's minus two on special attack. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So we're just going to leave Sceptile alone. Let him do his thing. We're just going to start targeting down this slot right here. But yo, Kai Ogre just gets stumped on due to a fake out and focus Ash, man. My plan was foiled. My plan was foiled. Because that water spout came in here. Our plan was working perfectly. But Max Worm, we're going to fly out here. Uh, send it. Get off a decent amount of damage. I like it. I dig it a lot. Get a nice attack shot. But I think both these guys are rocking special attack. And then a play rough. He's going to fly through here. And we're going to get off a huge chunk of damage, I think. That seems just a beast. And this thing. Oh, this thing has Endivore. This thing's rocking Endivore. Wow. Wow. Brings us down to one. This thing's rocking Endivore. D-Max Canyon is going to come out here. That's going to take out Zep. Yo, what is going on? This dude's combo is ripping. This dude's combo is ripping. We should have took out that Sceptile. We should have took out the Sceptile. Down goes my Zacian. Down goes my Zacian. He might have Restricted Mods in the back. He might have him in the back end. All right, Urshfu. You, you, get on over here. Get on over here. Get on over here, Urshfu. We're going for that Wicked Blow. We're going to finish off. I think we can finish off Blastoids with that Wicked Blow, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so we're going to Wicked Blow here. You know, I'm going to... I need speed. I need speed here. I need speed. This coming down to this 2v2 here. Coming down to 2v2. Dude, this guy just ripped up with the coolest combo I've ever seen. I give a big round of applause to this guy. This one, that was super cool. That was super cool. End of with Sceptile. And he's just dominating me. He took out both my restricted mods, no problem. Leaf stormed my Kyogre. Due to the Focus Ash and Fake Out. Which I was not expecting on the Blastoids. And then he just rocks End of War. Yo, what a crazy combo. I love seeing stuff like that all the time. But we're going to Airstream over in this thing. We're going to drop you. We still have Rain, which is lovely. Uh, we definitely have Speed Advantage. We're plus two on Kingdra. And we're plus one now on Urshfu. So Urshfu should be able to outspeed a lot. And Matt, uh, Wicked Blow should come out here. Finish off the Blastoise and turn this into a nice, lovely little 2v2 situation. Wicked Blow comes through. And the best part about Urshfu here is nobody can protect through him. We are hitting through protects due to his ability. So if they want to protect... We're gonna break up. If he has Zacian, we outspeed it, right? We're plus one on that speed board. I'm just gonna close combat and drop it. But of course, the G Max can't do any damage. He's chipping up on us. We don't like it one bit. And we're gonna see his last two Pokemon. We are going to see his last two Pokemon. Is it gonna be Kiram? I kind of hope it's Kiram. Kiram and Zacian, let's say. Kiram? I could Draco Meteor that. I could Draco Meteor that. And what's the last one? Zacian? I can close combat that. Run it up. Run it up. Run it up! Let's do it. Okay, so he's going to get his attack boost. I'm getting after this fool. He wants smoke. He wants all that smoke. All right. All right, all right. We got this. Close combat. Flying. Oh, it's super effective on that. But we're still going to close combat right over onto you. Close combat going to poke on you. And I'm dropping a Draco Meteor. You give me no reason not to drop a Draco Meteor. We have speed. Let's get after it. Hopefully, he's asking protects. He does, yo. We hit through that. We hit through that. We love it. He double protects. Okay, that's fine. We hit through that protect. That's actually better for us. So we get off a free turn here. Trick meter's gonna miss. He doesn't have a focus sash. Close combat's gonna come through here. How much damage are we doing? More than half. We outspeed that thing so another close combat can fly through here and finish that off. So him protecting really did us good, actually. It honestly did us good. Unless he has a first turn priority move. He could have quick attack on Zassian, but... I don't believe he does. But his team is really, really... It's really, like, different. <laughs> I think he was trying to waste out the rain, but there's some nice protects come out here. That kind of counters up on him. The close combat goes through. We gain a good advantage with that turn. And let's see what's happening here. Drake Amir comes through. It connects. This should KO him, right? Stab. Super effective. Life form. Big old damage. Get out of my face. Get him out of here, dude. Get him out of my face. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Our special attack is going to drop down here. And like I said, I think Urshfu outspeeds with that plus one, right? Show it to me. Show me that we win this one. 
Yep, Urshifu comes through here. Close combat. Yo, Zacian, get on out my game, and we go back to back for our Series 12 team. Let's hop into our third and final. Look to grab ourselves a perfect record. The casual ladder worked perfectly today. We're hopping into our third and final battle, and we found another Series 12 team. I absolutely loved it. This is exactly what I wanted to have for today's video, so hopefully you guys are enjoying. But, yo, see those two restricted mods we have? Kyogre and Zacian? We don't even need them. That last battle, we didn't even use them. We didn't even use them. Well, we used Zacian a little bit. He kind of just got off like a move or two. But King Dre and Urshifu just ran it. They just ran it and grabbed themselves a win. So this team is powerful. But we're going up against a Rayquaza and Zacian team. Alongside with Thunders, Blastoise, Incineroar for Fake Outs, and Amoongus. So how should we go into this one? How should we play it? I feel like maybe Zacian could be a great little turn one here. Hmm. He does have... Oh, I could go Kingdra and Kyogre. Really pose a threat on a lot of these guys. Yeah, we're going to rock out with this combo right here. He does have that Thunders, which is, you know, a little scary. But we're going to bring Zacian. And uh, do we bring Ferrothorn? I just don't think that Ferrothorn's that good here. I mean, actually, I could go for Speed Control here. I'm kind of liking a little bit more here. We're going to go in with uh, you, 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 and then Zashi. Yeah, we're not going to bring Urshifu here. I do like this. I do like this. I'm digging it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record with the Series 12 Kai Ogre and Zashi team. Like I said, everything's working out perfectly. Like, we didn't find any opponents that are uh, not using Series 12 teams. So, it's really, really cool. It's really cool. So, it's basically like we're just bringing you guys Series 12 content. All right, let's see who he leads. He's going to rock out with... I think Incineroar is probably going to come out here for a lead, right? No, Zacian and Thunderous. We're going to throw out our Thunderous alongside with our Kyogre. And I kind of like that. I can paralyze. Uh, I can protect my Kyogre this turn, which I think is probably our best bet. Probably our best bet. Maybe hard swapping it? I don't know. We definitely want to paralyze that, uh, that Zacian here. I could Dynamax my Kyogre. We haven't really shown off Kyogre too, too much in today's video. He's been dying very early on, but we're going to go for the Thunder Wave here. Paralyze you and just protect. I think just protecting at this point is probably a play. I might want to hard swap him in his Ascian. We'll see. We shall see, but he could end up Dynamaxing his uh, Thunders here because Thunders is very, very powerful. I could see it definitely being Life Orb. But imagine if Zassian could get Dynamax. Psh, this game would be over. This game wouldn't even be fun. If Zassian could Dynamax, everybody would be using Zassian even more than they already do and just be Dynamaxing it left and right. But he's going to end up withdrawing. Okay, he withdraws that scene. Go into someone I can paralyze, please. He's going to go into Rayquaza. Okay, we can paralyze that. Paralyze that all day. He's going to go into Airlock. So the effects on Weather Disappear. That's a great little turn there. That is a great little turn there. So he's going to Dynamax Thunderous. I'm cool with that. I really am cool with that. And we're going to paralyze that thing. Effects on Weather is gone. So we can't go Swift Swimming. We can't uh, get the damage boost either. So great little call. I feel like Rayquaza is going to be great in this series. Having an airlock Rayquaza in the back end supporting with like a Zacian or something like that. Just to take control of weather. I really do like that. And it is shiny, so it looks gorgeous. We protect Kyogre. Hopefully he's going into the Thunder move into me. And I can block it up, eat it up, soak it up. All that good stuff. And Thunder Wave's going to poke here. And we're going to paralyze this lovely little dragon. Look how cool that thing looks. Yo, he has one of the coolest shinies ever. Not even going to lie. So he's going to go straight for the airstream. So he reads my protect, or is he still going into Kyogre? Still goes to Kyogre. He just wants a little bit of speed. So he has speed. He has what he wants. Uh. What do we do from here? Hmm. What is the genes player? Let's swap the Kyogre. I really don't want to. I really don't want to. I think we're just gonna have to let Kyogre go down here. I think we have to let Kyogre go down here. What Thunderbolt into you? And if I can, I'll get off an origin. I'll get off an origin pulse, right? Or do I just go straight for an ice beam? Yeah, ice beam's probably our best bet. I'll go for an ice beam. But yo, Kyogre's gonna go down again. Yo, Kyogre's getting no love in today. He's getting no love a day. Everybody's just targeting him down. So I'll bring out Kingdra next turn. And but I don't have Swift Swim. That's a real problem. That's a real problem here. He goes, oh, he goes for airship. We should be able to eat that up. We don't! Kyogre! Dude, Kyogre's getting ran today. He's getting steamrolled left and right. Showing no love for this thing. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is hilarious. But yo, you guys seen plenty of Kyogre in the past. It's kind of funny just to see Kyogre just get absolutely ripped on. This thing Draco meters. Uh, I think we died of that, right? A little tough news. Oh, no. We soak up all day, yo. Look at my thunders, yo. Rayquaza is basically in the dump here. I don't really have to worry about it, but I'm going to bring out... Who do I bring out here? Who do I bring out here? Did I bring out Kingdra to Dynamax? It might be in my play. I might do that. I might bring out Kingdra to Dynamax. 
Might bring out we do not have Swift Swim, I do know that. What do I go on this Zassian? I kinda like the Zassian here. I kinda dig in the Zassian. I'm digging the Zassian. I could protect, I could sub up uh Hmm. I'm thinking of protecting here. I'm thinking of just protecting. Maybe she's going into a Thunderbolt. I might play, right? Or I could take out that Kingdra. Or not the Kingdra. I could take out the Rayquaza. Just to get Airlock out of here. And then Dynamax my Kingdra. Yeah. I'm with that. I'm with it all day. Because we're going to need Kingdra to Dynamax and have that Swift Swim if we really want to win this battle. So, it's going to be my play. He ends up with Jaw on him. Smart little play by him. And Incineroar is going to poke out here. So, Incineroar flies through here. He's going to get that Intimidate drop. You son of a biscuit. You dirty dog. You dirty dog. You dirty tiger. You dirty lion. What, what is he? A tiger? What is he? A tiger? Lightning's gonna fly through here. He's coming in there. So he's thinking we're protecting. That's totally fine. My boy's gonna drop out here. So airlock is gone. He might swap out next turn. But I still have to Dynamax again after with my Kings right here. So that's his play. Let's rip up. Let's rip up. We've been playing late Dynamax with this team so far. I feel like all of our opponents have been just Dynamaxing right off the rip. And we've just been playing it slow. It's been working out good for us. So I don't think we're out of this battle just yet. Player off comes through here. Not bad damage. We half it. We get a big old half skill on this thing, and we're bringing out the one and only King Joe with Swift Swim, Raider Roll, and Life Orb Raider Roll. So we could swap Dinsen War back to Airlock if he really wants to. I could see that happening. But at, in, at this point, I'm just going to, if he wants to swap Dinsen War into Rayquaza, I'm just going to play rough again in that slot. And I'm just going to Dynamax and go into an Airstream, or do I Geyser here? I have to go for a stab move. I think we should go into Geyser here. Yeah, we're going to Geyser in him. Just in case he doesn't swap, we'll get that boost damage. And then, again, we'll just play rough into the slot. Let's do it. The Zassian outspeeds in Center War. I think uh, Thunders is going to be... Actually, it's not faster than my King Joe. Unless he swaps. Unless he swaps, he's not faster than my King Joe. This battle is actually going to be a lot closer than, than I think it was going to be. And I was just like, oh, we're down two Pokemon. But I was just like, now, now we have Dynamax, and things are looking pretty good on our side. We Dynamax King Joe. King Joe should go first here. If he doesn't swap, that should 100% be able to take it out. No problem. Should be able to get rid of you, and then Zassian should be able to pump up some big damage. And then I can go into airstreams, kind of roll off from there. Then I kind of just roll off from there, but we'll see. We shall see what this dude's rocking with. We shall see. What's he doing here? He's gonna end up faking out. Mm, you buttery biscuit. So he fakes out me. Actually, I'm, I'm cool with that. And oh no, he eerie impulses, bruh. It's over with. It is over with. This thing's rocking. This thing was Dynamax, and it was able to rock out with eerie impulse. What a great move set on this guy. Probably not being able to take it out now. We do, yo. King just beasting. This thing's beasting. We get a crit. That's why. We get a lovely crit. Okay. I was going to say, yo. How the heck we take that thing out when we're minus two? I'll take it, though. I'll take it, though. We flinch. We can't move. Uh, do I just airstream here? I think he does bring out air, air lock uh, Rayquaza. And at this point, I'm just going to airstream and kind of just start taking speed. And now he goes into Zassian. So we still have speed here. We still have a little bit of speed. Just a tad bit of speed. Attack's gonna get boosted, and I could go into a Wormwind for that minus one. I don't think Wormwind's gonna take him out. That's my problem. But I could start minusing him up and subbing up. Yeah, that's my play. That's my play. So much all instant or you but okay, he's gonna go into him. I was gonna say you buttery biscuit. He's gonna go into Rayquaza, and he's gonna take a little bit of speed here. The Rayquaza might go down to this. Super effective shot here. Airlock's coming out here, but we don't outspeed anymore. So this Zassian's going to go first. He's going to... Oh, dude, that's a lovely turn. That's a lovely turn. I'm loving this turn right here. Substitute popping out here. Run it. Run it. He's giving us a chance by making mistakes like that. Lovely, lovely. Can we KO here? He's going to get Intimidate off again, which is kind of kind of buns, but it is what it is. We get off a Wormwind, so that's minus one on Zassian. Do we minus it again? You're saying there's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Huge chance for us. Huge, huge chance. Rain stops. Uh, we don't have speed. We didn't have speed regardless. We have one more turn to Dynamax. I think I'll just go into another Worm one here. Make him go minus one. I could just uh, could just blade over here. We're already... Actually, we're even. We're going to be minus one when he comes in with... Uh, with Incineroar. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what this dude does here. <laughs> this is such a good battle. <laughs> this is such a good battle. It's so close. It is so close. That god dang, what's it called? That Eerie Impulse really did me dirty. It really, it kept him in the battle. I feel like if we didn't have Eerie Impulse on us, 
we should be thriving here and we should have just been one tap Pokemon left and right. Like just think this Rayquaza should have been down. We should have just been able to max Geyser into that Incineroar next turn. Could have been thriving. We could have been thriving, but this battle is going to be super, super close. Let's see. Let's see. We have our sub set up. We, ha we do have our sub set up. Series 12? It's looking like it's going to be a lot of fun. It's looking like it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a nice change of pace. Something totally different. So I'm digging it right now. I am digging it. Digging it. Yeah, yeah. He's going to end up with on the Rayquaza. Okay, okay. Bring it out in cinema. He wants another Intimidate. He wants another Fake Out. And I think he might swap him again. Might swap him again. That's probably this dude's play. He's probably just like, oh, let me Intimidate this Incineroar up. And it doesn't affect me right now, which is gorgeous. Which is gorgeous. Doesn't affect me right now. I might have to set up a sub next turn again. He goes to Behemoth Blade. Our sub soaks that up. And that's such a cool animation. I love it. Sub fades. Let's rip up. Let's do him dirty here. Behemoth Blade flying. Get it. Get it, dog. Wolf, wolf, baby. Behemoth Blade dropping. How much damage are we doing on this thing? Half of it. Should have went for an airstream this turn. We really need speed. But one one's going to get five through here. Put them both minus one on attack. Loving it. Do we KO? We don't. Yo, we have both these guys down to one HP, man. One HP. Okay. Attack dropping. That's huge attack drops. Huge attack drops. So from here, I could honestly just muddy water and protect. I could do it. But let me weigh out my options here. Let me weigh out my options here. We know Zassian's been outspeeding, which is kind of tough. Or was that a speed tie? I honestly didn't check the Zassian stats, so let's see if it was a speed tie or not. It was not a speed tie. Zassian's just totally outspeeds us. Totally outspeeds us. Okay. Definitely, definitely outspeeds us. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. Hmm. So I could protect this turn. I could set up a sub. But I think going into a muddy water here is probably our play. I think it's maybe setting up a sub here. They're both minus on attack. Both minus one. I mean, he could fake me out. So, you know, let's protect. He could fake out my Zacian. Let's see what he's doing. We're going to protect him here. He still has fake out ready to roll. Go for fake out on Zacian. Fake out comes out. Great call by us. We blocked that. We have Muddy Water ready to rock out. Are you doubling down? There he goes. For play rough. Eat this. Eat it. Oh, my lord. Ah. Uh, even minus one, I think, is still dumping all my Pokemon. All right. Zacian, can you clutch up? I wonder how we're going to do this one. I'm trying to think. How are we going to do this one? We could blade. Zassian could protect, so you know what? I'm going into this play rough here. He might swap his instant war. I think he is going to swap his instant war. Yep. Oh, no. He swaps you. Okay. So he swaps you. So we take out instant war. So he wants his plus one back. He wants his plus one back. He's paralyzed still. We have speed on that all day. Airlock coming through. Player left flying. And we met. Yo. What is up with the play roughs today? You should be dead. You should be dead. This. Oh, my lord. I wonder how this battle would have turned out. You get a burn. Get out of my face, yo. We're going to end up losing this one. But he goes down to recoil. I wonder how this one would have turned out. Say we connect that. He dies. We still have all that HP. Um, then we might be able to read a protect. Because we can take out Zacian in one shot. We just need to land a behemoth weight on him. That's our only problem. And this guy only probably has dragon moves and fighting moves. Or dragon moves and uh, flying moves. So this could have went in our favor. This Oh my god. We missed a play rough, dude. What is up with that? That's the second time we did it today. But, yeah, we're going to run this one. Got to show off this team to its fullest potential besides Kyogre. You guys already know about that. But, yo, had a lot of fun in Series 12. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our first Series 12 team rocking out with it with a winning record. Got to show off the kyogre Zassian combo. Got to rock out with this whole team. And this whole team was a powerful team. It just absolutely destroyed a lot of different things. I feel like that last battle, we still should have had a fighting chance there. But, yo, it is what it is. It is what it is. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.